Hey guys, it's Eleanor. One of the things I found when looking into the game files was something that hasn't been mentioned in quite some time. I thought it was about time to bring it back up and see if I could find some sort of explanation as to what it means. You've most likely heard about it, but if you haven't, you're about to. Today, we're going to talk about the mysterious GED office. Let's start off with the codes. When looking into the game files, there is a whole bunch of codes regarding an office, even though we don't have an office in the game. People have been talking about this in the past, but for some reason, the discussion has died out. I don't think I can fit all of the codes on the screen, so I wrote down all the different variations to show you guys. And as you can see, there are plenty of codes for every detail in this office, which is pretty strange considering that there is no such place in the game. Or is there? As it turns out, the office does in fact exist in the game, although it is not accessible. We know this because there are people who have managed to break into it, most likely by using illegal cheat engines. The weird thing is that I can no longer find original footage of this. Literally, the only footage I could find was from a video by SSO Theory Time, who used footage from a deleted channel called Star Staple Bugs. That's it, that was all the footage I could find, and the original video doesn't even exist anymore. It's weird, I know I've seen more footage of this before, but for some reason it's all gone. It makes me wonder if SSO put down these videos themselves, and if that is the case, I'd like to clarify that I have not cheated the game in any way in the making of these videos, and I do not encourage people to do so either. But anyway, back to the video. The office is a GED office, as shown by people breaking into it. It is located high up in the sky above Jarlaheim and is invisible to us players on the ground. Just like how places such as our stable and Fripp's chamber work. The placement indicates that the office should be located in Jarlaheim in the game. So because of that it becomes pretty clear that it's supposed to be the inside of this building. The GED Jarlaheim office. Do you see the problem here? The office is way too big for the actual building. The floors are huge and there's so many of them that they need an elevator. There is just no way for that to be the same building as this. Not just because this building looks small in comparison, but also because of the style. The office looks like it's part of a block, which doesn't make sense when you compare it to this. Sure, anything's possible, but I cannot imagine the team passing this off as the same building. That's pretty strange, isn't it? What is also interesting is that this office is very much a finished product. The codes are complete and the office is already present in game, and it has been for a long time. And yet for some reason we don't have access to it. So that's when it hit me, and remember this part is just a theory. This has to be a leak from the updated Jarlaheim. Now, I don't usually say things like this without being sure, but even though I don't have all that much to go on, I feel like this is the only thing that makes sense. That explains why we don't have access to it, and it explains why it looks so different. And not to mention, it explains why it's a finished product. The only reason it has not been officially released yet is that it's scheduled for a Jarlaheim update. That makes sense, doesn't it? If this is the case, and that is an if, we are left with some hints on what we can expect from the Jarlaheim update. The office gives off these modern vibes that don't really go along with the rest of Jarlaheim, so we might be looking at a very different town design after this update. I imagine a more city-like appearance, kind of like how Aideen's plaza looks. It also seems as though the team has been working on this update for a long time, judging from when the office first was discovered by the players. I don't remember when I first heard about it, and the footage is all gone, but it feels like a long time. A year or so, maybe? So there might be a lot of changes if they've spent this long on it. But regardless of the rest of Jarlaheim, and most important of all, us gaining access to the GED office indicates new quests, and let me ask you something. 
Do you remember where the main GED questline left off? That's right, Old Hillcrest. We haven't had any GED quests since back when we unlocked Epona, which is five years now. Could this really be the year where we explore the mysteries of Old Hillcrest? I think it's very possible. There's also the possibility of Devil's Gap being opened up, which I mentioned in a different video. But now that we have Starshine Ranch and all of this stuff might come around, Devil's Gap will probably have to wait after all. It is possible for us to get all of this, but when the team said we wouldn't get any new areas this year, I don't think they had this many locations in mind. Starshine Ranch alone was a big satisfaction for the players, and if we gain access to the office and possibly Old Hillcrest later this year, they'd probably have themselves covered until the next area or section is ready for release. So to sum it up, I believe that the office is a leak from the updated Jarlheim, and it indicates that there is gonna be a lot of aesthetical changes and new gameplay coming along with it. I could be wrong, but that's what I think makes the most sense. So that's my theory about the office. If you can remember when the office was first discovered, I'd love for you to leave a comment about it so we can speculate more on this. If you have any other thoughts or things that I missed, then you're of course free to leave a comment about that too. As usual, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I'll see you around. Bye!